everybody, this is the high pressure airbag setup how to. Just a quick demonstration for us all to uh, jot our memories. Note that in this scenario, we are using the 45 minute bottle. With the 45 minute bottle, we need to use the manifold to allow air to flow. With the 60 minute bottle, this is not required. This will be found in the kit with our airbag setup. Uh, Captain Baxter has attached the manifold to the bottle. To the manifold attaches the regulator. Note, he's got it screwed down tight. His max operating pressure is 118 PSI. It's easily labeled on the regulator. The regulator has two uh, gauges on it. Note, high pressure and low pressure. One's your bottle and one is your operating pressure. Coming out of the back of there, there's an inline dead man switch or an inline shutoff valve. Make sure that the shutoff valve is open. This is a common hang up for many of our firefighters when executing the lifting operation. From there, we've got the air chuck, making sure that the air is connected securely and double checking that the collar is screwed down all the way as a safety so we don't have a loose hose. Coming out of the regulator, going to our dead man, we use the black hose. Black hose is nice and long, allows us to be uh, stretched away from our bottle. Coming into the dead man, Captain Baxter is again gonna check the uh, air making sure that it's secure, double checking that the collar is screwed down and secure. From there, he's got his dead man switch. You can see the easy button operation going to the hoses. Communication will be via the hose color from here, such as up on yellow, up on red. Going out of the regulator, we've got, uh, we double check the couplings and connections, making sure that the collar is screwed down. Going to the airbags themselves, we've got an inline dead man. Put this on first, in your operation in case you need to use the hose elsewhere within. Uh, this is a simple inline shutoff. You can see it on top. Some of them are gonna be a, a simple valve turn 90 degrees on or off. Again, he's double checked all of his collars to ensure that everything is secure. All the weights and the heights are listed on the bags. Select the proper bags for your uh, operation needed. Offset your dead man or your air hose valves to either side of the uh, lifting operation to ensure that you're clean. Line up the X's, good to go.